Hi everybody, this is Carl from Abundant Living and it's Sunday afternoon. I'm going for a nice walk with my family. I will uh, we'll interview them a little bit on the walk. We're going to a beautiful property up above the mountain and uh, the property is actually for sale as well. I'll take some nice footage of the property. Ah, let's go for a nice hike. What do you got? What do you have a rope around your neck? What are you eating, Ellie? Bread. Bread? Nice. <laughs> Snickers. Hey, Snickers. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? You good boy. Hi, Aww. Snickers. He has big teeth. I just saw him. Yes. Put the app on, Dad. The horse says, me! Put the app on. Right here on my right is a good example of a rustic home that could probably be built in a pretty cheap manner. <coughs> Oops. This is adobe blocks. We talk about adobe a lot. They're basically clay blocks. And it's also covered with adobe. You can see there's a... a Cement, concrete, and rebar structure, and then upstairs it's a metallic structure and a metal roof with some wooden uh, planks on the bottom. Interesting. That's like a, a rustic, that, that, that could look very nice if you were to invest a, a little bit into it and you could have a nice, uh, cheap, rustic home. Yeah. But it's nice, baby. Oh, it's like the old, the old Okay, now we're gonna go up this really steep hill. Okay, I'm a This is the cute little house on the hill. It's an older construction. It's actually made of tapia, which is rammed earth. Really, really thick clay type of walls. And we're gonna go inside and take a look. All right, I got it. Throw it up here. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Good. We can pull Molly up. Yeah, good idea. I told you, Mommy, he was here. Wait, walking. <laughs> You gonna help mommy come up? No, I guess I'll grapple hook it to, up to that tree. I'm gonna go down the hill and my dad's gonna hold the rope. All right. Good, you made it. Is it my... Good job. <laughs> this was Carl from Abundant Living. Roxy. Sully and Ellie. <laughs> we hope to see you here one day. And until then. Until then, we'll see you next time.
<laughs> Once again, one of the great thing about living up in the Andes Mountains is that if you like hiking, if you want to be in good shape, if you want to exercise, it's very easy just to go for a walk in almost any direction. Find a street, find a road, find a, a trail, and just go hiking and, and get, get a good get a good heartbeat, get a good sweat, get a good exercise. Up here in the Andes Mountain, look at this. We've got, a, got the sunset behind us. Sunset! We've got Mandango. The sun is setting. I can't see Mom. it too well here, but yeah. Why? This is uh, the Andes Mountains for you. One of the quote-unquote downsides of this area is that most of the properties are not all flat and usable. You're going to have a lot of mountainous areas. You're going to have a lot of uh, uneven terrain. But it is what it is. Um, you can then enjoy the great views, of course. And uh, there is definitely flat areas as well in the valleys, but <clears throat> up in the mountains, it's, it's a little harder to come across. Anyways, it was Carl from Abundant Living with Sully, Roxy, and Ellie, Anna. And uh, we hope to see you here one day. And until then, we'll see you next time.